Right, hi everyone. Today, and it's time for DB2 Hello. Now I have a user called User1 on a system where DB2 is properly installed on an instance. Name of the instance is CTT NST1. Right, so if with this user1 I've logged in with this db2 command, if I follow his error, we get bash db2 command I found. Very typical, very usual error. Now, what we gotta do to, to make that user get the permission to run db2 commands and even db2 start and db2 stop, firstly, switch user to the root using the sc commands password. Pra, password. Now with the root, go to home directory of that user and look for a SQL directory if it's possibly there, won't be there if it's not a normal database user, it's a newly created user. So I'm just going to be creating a SQL directory using make dir command. Now let's have an LT. You can see the newly created SQL directory. Now this is the instance user which we have, so it will have all the rights at work on that db2. So I'm gonna be just going to the home directory of the CTG NSC1 user, then to the SQL API and finding a file called db2 profile. Uh, you could just vi that file to to have a view a view of it. Now this is a whole db2 profile which have all the environment variables and all the stuff about regarding the instance. So I, this file needs to be there for every user which needs to run any of those, any, any commands of db2 so I'm just gonna copy all this db2 profile to the home directory sqlib of user1 this is how it sounds so just gonna cross check it one more time so there we go with the db2 profile present over there now next step I want this file to be owned by the user one only as it is now with the root. So using the ch one command, user one, the name of the user and the name of the directory. So moreover give the read write executable access to, to all the directories of home for user one. So ch mode 777 which will give read write executable error access to all the users. And as you can see, I'm giving out not only the user one, home user one directory, but home user one SQLib, home user one SQLib db2 profile, just in case any error occurs. So, playing a little safe game here. After that, I'll just switch, switch back to user one and just go to home directory and Just trying to run that db2 profile one more one time to, just to just to check if db2 permission is there with the user now or not. So just running that profile to, to run. But if you try to run that db2 command again, that error because it's a bash error. So the profile variable, which is also called the environment variable, is not being set for this db2 profile. So you know, to set that. I'm gonna go to the home directory one more time. And there I've got to look for a file called bash underscore profile. Just open that file here. And in this file I've got to specify the command to run the db2 profile. You know, to set that permanently. To do that, just just copy this command from here or just write the same command like home dot space slash home user one skill lib and db2 profile. Just make sure the, the space is are there between slash and dot save that file and run that file one time again during the running of this bash profile make sure the spaces are there between this are really important now now after running try on db2 is it really successful I'll try to start the db2 if I can from here look for it now this is a small error which I get here from user one that it doesn't have the authority to perform the requested command operation in order to do that, I'll just copy this user, or I'll, in other words, I'll just add this user to a group called db2iadm1, which is the admin group for 
accessing database or any of this any of the speeches and tell you what the instance uses CTG and SD1 will already be a part of it to do that I'm gonna be using a user mod command user more hyphen G the name of the group and the name of the user and ask me error gives me error for permission that I so I'm just switching the user to the root and running the same command I hope it helps this time user more hyphen G db2 IADM1 user1 it's done just a cross check if it's done or not groups command to check for user how many groups it's this user is added as it to now exiting and turn on the same command one more time so here it's successful and all the commands also for db2 you'll be able to do that so this is it this is how it's done thanks for watching and don't forget